Picture this, a normal day in New York City. Yellow cabs honking, street vendors selling hot dogs, tourists snapping selfies at Times Square. But something's different. The water in the harbor starts receding, like a giant bathtub being drained. Then, on the horizon, it appears. A wall of water 500 feet high. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty herself. In just minutes, this mega tsunami would barrel through the city's concrete canyons like a liquid bulldozer. The iconic Freedom Tower partially submerged. Central Park transformed into a saltwater lake. The subway system completely flooded, becoming a network of underwater tunnels. Times Square's bright lights would flicker and die as the wave crashes through, turning Manhattan into an American Atlantis. But could this apocalyptic scenario actually happen? Well, here's the science. Mega tsunamis this size are typically caused by either massive underwater landslides or asteroid impacts. The last known mega tsunami happened in Alaska in 1958, reaching heights of 1,720 feet, more than three times our New York scenario. While the East Coast is generally safe from traditional tsunamis, scientists have discovered an unstable underwater landmass off the coast of Africa that could potentially trigger something this devastating. Sweet dreams, New York, sweet dreams.